Right, I'm still progressing through the wood. At some point I'll probably emerge on some road or other. This does open up the wood though for walks, you see. Um, get you off that track, out of the heat. It's actually quite sensible. And it's quiet today. I expect tomorrow it'll be very busy with the weekend. I just feel we're going to emerge in a minute onto back on the track again, the open track. gate up there. That would take you to the area of outstanding natural beauty. We just got there a minute. We just got to the gate and then we're going to go back down that way. The last time I came through this gate It was early May, I think, and there was a purple haze of bluebells. I called it purple haze, and it was absolutely fantastic. The bracken was short, and um, yeah, that was really nice walking through there. Actually, I'm glad I found that bit. I'm glad I found that. And over, there, over there, I think there's those people. They were walking quite quick. Yeah, I don't know if they know where they're going. And there we have the area of outstanding natural beauty here. Yeah? See? I was going to walk across that, but I'm doing weaving today. I'm doing weaving, so I'm, what I'm doing, I'm carrying back down this way now. I just wanted to come up to that because that was fantastic in May. There's lots of tracks in there, and it's, it's nice. It's a nice way of feeling your embraced by the wood is to go in and follow the biker's tracks they've done some good work in there and um, you know it's all clear of anything that would harbour too many nasties yeah it's a good way to go in there on a quiet day and to feel part of the wood because when you're out here on the boundary like the Christmas trees on one side and the variety of different trees on the other side um, but of course you wouldn't, you wouldn't necessarily know if you've, well if you came here for the first time you wouldn't necessarily know unless you perhaps wanted to go to the loo and you went in there and you saw the tracks. See? You just carry on thinking oh it must be down this way. And then this little turn you look. That's where I came out. Where I came out, I was walking in the wood. Yeah, 
yeah there's a lot of there are other tracks to go up which I'm not going to explore today so I've, I'm trying to be a bit careful with the um, breathing that's a track I was on earlier but then I diverted into the wood and I'm glad I did it'd be similar with that one going through the Christmas trees um, I'll do that on another occasion so I'm still going to be doing a bit of weaving here yet probably won't see the hill fort now because I've I've done a I never go exactly to plan I've moved away from that area but I but I took lots of photos in May of that area from over here on the Robert Warren and of course different times of year you haven't got the ferns six and nine foot tall um, escorting you about see there's another little turning in there look if we just go in there quickly you'll see there's ways you can weave and walk about all in the wood and the bikers have um, I've done that for you the bikers have in fact it's easier to walk down here I think the bikers might have even done this little side track so they don't bump about too much I wouldn't be surprised if a biker hadn't done this Yeah, I'm enjoying it. I'm really enjoying this. And um, it's good to video. And as I explore, I'm continuing exploring, even though I constantly talk about Robert Warren. Like today, I've been in places. I, and it was spontaneous. I didn't plan. I didn't even know or think about the biker's tracks until I got in there and thought, well, this is a good idea. You can actually be in the cool, because when you go on these paths, you are fully exposed to the heat, but if you f if you follow the wood, the wood will keep you cool. See how exposed you are now uh, in here, out here. Yeah, I don't think I've had anyone with me at all over the years, say over the last eight years at least. I don't think. I don't know if I've been in here with my bike either. I'm not sure if I ever got this far with my bike. But I've done this walk. I've, I've explored this place by myself. Building up my knowledge. Following different tracks. Um, what I've done in the first early years was just build up a skeleton outline. From different directions. Uh, work out the... I think you can get a plan of the network of, of tracks um, and then of course you can go off track once you know you're never very far away well, that's what I like to say you're never really far away from a track an artery if you like to get your vein to get you um, back to uh, somewhere because these sets of trees are all done in like squares or rectangles or something they're in they're grouped and, and, and divided by these tracks. So the bikers have weaved in and out the trees, which is really good. It's, I don't think it's causing any damage. Um, I think the idea was for them to follow these tracks here. But no, it's nice to go in the wood, isn't it? And have the earth. I expect you're more likely to get a puncher out here. Now, the other... In, in May, I came up with the right fork there um, today I'm going down the left fork I do, like I said, I've done it all just linking it all up in my mind if I go down that way I can still get to where the stream where I want to go and probably there would be views of the fort Just going to turn off for a minute.